They spent five days in an abandoned coal mine. Tonight, they are telling their stories and explaining why they ventured thousands of feet underground. Chip Reed was in West Virginia last night as the rescue unfolded. He is back now with more. How does it feel to be out of that mine? It feels amazing, sir. <laughs> it does? It does. What was it like in there? It was the most you know, traumatic experience of my life. 21-year-old Cody Beverly says there were moments in the mine when he didn't think last night's reunion with family and friends would ever happen. And I thought that we was going to be found, you know, bring out in body bags. You thought and you were going to be brought out in body bags? I, I did because, you know, it had been you know, three, four or five days, you know, and we, we didn't know what we was drinking. We didn't know if the water was good, you know, but that's all we had. You, you know? had nothing I, to eat? No, I hadn't ate, you know, since the night we went in. But I never cried more in my life than I have in the past, you know, five days. I miss my family more than I miss anybody. And my little sisters, you know, my, my little sisters is my world. It took four days for rescuers to find Beverly, Kayla Williams, and Erica Treadway deep inside the abandoned mine. Okay, All three right. walked out okay. on their own. At 31, Treadway was the oldest of the three. Did you lose hope at any point? No. You didn't? No, I couldn't lose hope. I have three children at home, three young children, and I had two friends in there who needed me. What was it like when you realized that you had been found? It was overwhelming. I was overwhelmed with joy. I about knocked the rescuer down. Both Treadway and Beverly say they went into the mine for an adventure, not to steal valuable copper wiring. But local police say that's exactly why they did it. What's the lesson in all of this for you? I'm not exploring the mines ever again, and I advise nobody, nobody to go into the mines unless you are prepared, trained, and it's your job. The local sheriff's office says that so far no criminal charges have been filed in this case. As for the cost of the rescue mission, sources tell CBS News it could be as high as $1 million. Jeff? Wow. All right, Chip Reed in Whitesville, thank you very much.